Hey everyone, this is your daily dose of medicine. In this video, we are going to learn new things about acute pancreatitis. Let's get into it. First of all, pancreatitis is a disease in which your pancreas becomes inflamed. And the pancreas is a long, flat gland that sits tucked behind the stomach in the upper abdomen. Your pancreas does two main things. First of all, it releases powerful digestive enzymes into your small intestine to help you digest food. And it releases insulin and glucagon into your bloodstream. And these hormones help your body to control how it uses food for energy. The two forms of pancreatitis are acute and chronic. Acute pancreatitis is sudden inflammation that lasts a short time. And in this image, you are seeing right turner sign. It is seen in acute pancreatitis. It's not that common, but it can be seen. And chronic pancreatitis is a long lasting inflammation. It most often happens after an episode of acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis, clinical presentation, nausea and vomiting, it's seen in 85% of the whole patients and the abdominal pain radiates directly through the back in approximately one half of cases. Tachycardia, which means abnormal fast heart rhythm and hypotension, mild jaundice and pleural effusion. May be fine. Acute pancreatitis occurs when pancreatic enzymes are activated in pancreatic tissue rather than in the lumen intestine, resulting in the auto digestion of pancreatic tissue. The causes of acute pancreatitis is important, and we have mnemonic about this. Get smashed. We use G for gallstones. We use E for ethanol or alcohol. We use T for trauma, S for steroids, M for mumps virus, A for autoimmune diseases, S for scorpion venom, H for hypothermia or hyperlipidemia, E for ERCP. And ERCP is performed primarily to correct a problem in bile ducts or pancreas and D for drugs. Goldstones, which are the main cause of acute pancreatitis. Goldstone pancreatitis occurs when a goldstone blocks your pancreatic duct and causing inflammation and pain. Ethanol or alcohol studies show that ethanol causes a dose-dependent injury to pancreas due to a shift to non-oxidative metabolism following inhibition of the oxidative pathway and alcohol use causes to about 30% of all cases of acute pancreatitis. And steroids are also important for acute pancreatitis. Increasing doses of steroids may increase the risk of acute pancreatitis based on previous studies. Mumps virus, which is a viral infection that primarily affects salivary glands that are located near your ears. Mumps was common in the United States uh, until vaccination became routine and since then the cases has dropped. And mumps infection in adulthood is rare and acute pancreatitis is an exceptional complication of mumps virus. Scorpion venom, which is really interesting. Particular enzyme in the scorpion's venom removes a peptide or a small protein that allows the vesicle to fuse with the cell membrane. If you remove a pancreatic cell's ability to absorb or release components, you end up with pancreatitis. What does a pancreatic attack feel like? 
Acute pancreatitis usually begins with pain in the upper abdomen, may last for a few days. The pain may be severe or may, be const may become constant and just in abdomen or it may reach to the back and other areas. It may be sudden or intense or begin as a mild pain that gets worse when food is eaten. Treatment is generally supportive uh, with fluid resuscitation, pain control, nothing by mouth, and nutritional support. Acute pancreatitis usually clears up by its own uh, within one to two weeks. Solid foods are generally avoided for a while in order to reduce the strain on the pancreas. And the stages of treatment are First of all, a hospital stay to treat dehydration with intravenous fluids. And if you can swallow them, fluids by mouth. The second uh, stage is pain medicine and antibiotics by mouth or through an IV. If you have an infection in your pancreas. A low fat diet or nutrition by feeding tube or IV if you can't eat. And can you die from acute pancreatitis? Yes, of course. Sleep pancreatitis can be fatal. Risk increases with many other factors, including age, uh, other health problems, and obesity or have been heavy alcohol using users. Uh, preventing pancreatitis is important. In order to prevent this condition, limit your alcohol consumption. By drinking less or not at all, you can help protect your pancreas from toxic effects of alcohol and reduce your risk for pancreatitis and eat a low-fat diet, exercise regularly, skip crash diets, and don't smoke. These are things that you can do for preventing pancreatitis. And that wraps up all the video. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. And you can also reach pancreatitis foods video from the top right corner.